Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. In today's material, we'll talk about how cats are able to fall from some rather extreme heights without getting hurt. Before we take a closer look at how cats just seem to have the Midas touch in this regard, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Cats can jump about 8 feet and fall the same distance without injury. The higher a cat falls, the better its chances of avoiding significant injury. Falling from a substantial height gives a cat additional time to prepare itself for landing, reducing the risk of impact damage. Yeah, that seems a bit weird, right? Perhaps a lot, <laughs> a lot weird. Hey, I'm right there with you. The higher a cat falls, the more chances increase of avoiding significant injury. What, how, what's that all about? Well, huh, before we get ahead of ourselves, there are indeed some caveats as to be expected. First off, nothing is accident and injury proof, meaning cats can be hurt from any fall, whether it's 5 feet or 50 feet. This is life and things can go wrong all the time. Expect the unexpected. This also means in respect to the point about the higher the distance, the safer the fall here again. Nothing is a guarantee. Your cat falls from 20 feet, your cat could be hurt, even sustain a serious injury. It's important to address these concerns right up front. Keep these caveats in your back pocket as we press on and just understand that while there are legitimate reasons why a higher fall could be safer, nothing is 100%. Now with that foundation set in place, hello, <laughs> hello, welcome to Senior Cat Wellness. We thank you for stopping by, and if this is your first time viewing or if you've been with us for the long haul, we thank you for checking in. We do realize that you could be just about anywhere, yet you're spending a few minutes of your day with us, and for that, we are truly grateful. Your support means everything, and with that said, we hope you enjoy today's video, find it informative. And we do look forward to seeing you again down the road. Now, let's talk about how cats can take some serious falls, yet come away in some respects as clean as a whistle. Let's go. As we noted in our little groundworks piece for this topic, yes, cats can sustain injury during a fall regardless of the height. While several factors can contribute to success, several factors can also contribute to injury. Overweight felines. Kittens, senior cats with weaker bones, hard and unpredictable landing surfaces, and shorter height falls where there really is no time to make an air adjustment. And we'll explain those here momentarily and how that mid-air adjustment works. All of these can result in injury. One of the main reasons why cats can often come out smelling like a rose after a fall is because they have very strong leg muscles. Contrary to a visual assessment, a healthy adult feline's legs are strong, and the paw pads serve as natural shock absorbers. This means if a cat lands on its feet, the impact will be spread across the body, rather than the immediate blow being taken in by the paw pads and the legs. In an earlier video, we addressed what is known as the writing reflex. Through this reflex, cats more times than not are able to find that sweet spot, even during a free fall and land on their feet. The riding reflex is formed during the early years of life. In layman's terms, the riding reflex is mid-air balance. The ability to twist and turn accordingly to ensure not only a smooth landing, but a proper landing. For example purposes, let's say a cat falls from a height of 20 feet. The overall process goes a little something like this. The cat recognizes that it's falling, bends the torso inward, forming somewhat of a V-shape, the front legs tuck and the rear legs extend to rotate the core of the body. The rear legs then tuck and the front legs extend in order to complete a second rotation. This forms a 180 degree roll until a righted and proper turn is made. While no two falls are alike, obviously, once a cat is aware that it is indeed falling, it'll make that snap assessment of the distance and the ground and quickly adjust accordingly. It's truly a blink and you'll miss it scenario in respect to what goes into the entire process from recognition, execution, and landing. Hey, it's remarkable. Simone Biles, uh, she's the greatest gymnast of all time, right? But these cats, yeah, they've got some serious moves too. And given what we know and what has to be done in the process, it now makes it a bit easier to understand why the higher the fall could offer up better results. 
Increased height means more time, and more time is key, more time for recognition and action. Where if a cat falls off your sofa, for example, uh, an unfortunate angle, there could indeed be an injury, especially if we're talking about a senior feline with weak legs and a slower reaction time. So, how high is high and how high is safe? Here again, nothing is guaranteed, but we can get into the weeds a bit here with some examples. Let's talk about a second story balcony. This is an awkward height. It's roughly twice the height of jumping ability of a cat, but the landing has to be right, and that will depend on the cat's timing and landing surface. A healthy cat will probably be okay in this scenario, while the cat will possibly be shaken up. Serious injury shouldn't be a concern. However, an older and heavier cat, that's not a good situation. Greater impact plus weaker bones can spell real trouble. Ultimately, so much depends on the timing, and if the cat has enough time to execute a proper writing reflex. Here again, we're speaking on a fall rather than a designed and somewhat planned jump. If a fall is from something as high as, say, a high-rise apartment, a cat will enter what is known as high-rise syndrome. These falls, quite obviously, are incredibly dangerous. However, only 37% of cats that fall from this distance require emergency treatment, and 30% will require no emergency help at all, if you can believe that. While some could view this as confirmation that cats really do, yeah, they really do have nine lives, of the cats that were presented to vets after such a fall that required surgery, 90% of them survived. Okay, stats, distances, let's just, <laughs> let's cut right to the chase. On a personal level, all of this is just simply wild, right? I mean, stats and cats falling from crazy heights. For my money, it's all about prevention. This is incredibly dangerous, and it can't be stressed enough. I'm quite confident that if this is your cat, you're certainly not going to be leaning on stats while your cat is in midair, right? I mean, let's be honest about that. This is some brutal stuff, no other way to put it. And while that does make for quality information, as many people are indeed curious and rightfully so, never bank on your cat's safety from a fall simply based on stats or the distance. Uh, it is worth stating again, we're talking about falls rather than deliberate jumps. The gamble is on riding reflex or not. While falling from a tree, especially if the path to the ground is not filled with limbs and debris, is much safer than a building or some high-rise apartment, prevention is the word of the day. It's at least my word of the day and my offering to you. While you can't be all things at all times to and for your cat, man, it's a better day if stuff like this doesn't even have a chance of happening. And that starts with making sure that your cat is shielded from certain things. The balcony of your apartment being just one example. Hey, your cat can't fall if it can't get to the balcony. And just an FYI before we do close things out, in our video that we referenced earlier, our previous video, detailing the riding reflex, we showed footage of a cat jumping from an incredible, incredible distance only to land, seemingly run away, and conclude with being given what amounts to a clean bill of health. If you're currently watching us off-site, away from SeniorCatWellness.com, you can find the link to that video in the description box below. The clip within the video is quite short, but there's definitely a lot of tension in the air. That is for sure. And on that note, that will close things out for the video portion of today's material. However, if you'd like more information, we do invite you to visit us at SeniorCatWellness.com. There you will find a full-length and high-quality article, and we've prepared it just for you. We hope you find it beneficial and a good companion piece to this video. Are you currently watching us off-site? If so, we invite you to click the initial link in the description box below to take you to the Writing Reflex video and the second link, which will take you to the article in question. We do hope that you enjoy both. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.